What's up guys, Express Design here and I'm back with another Blender tutorial. I learned a lot, I practice a lot with Blender so I know a lot more than my previous tutorial so I thought let's make another one because I love the program Blender, I think it's a great free software. So let's make our logo 3D. And here is an example of what we're going to make, I think this is a really nice design if you want to spice up your logo uh, for your YouTube channel, Twitter or whatever or do it for a banner, I don't know. It's up to you guys, but I thought this was a really nice uh, idea. Not too difficult, but not too simple as well. What you want to do first is go to your logo, to your Illustrator file. And if you don't have that, I mean, you should. Uh, if you have your logo and Illustrator open, you want to save that file as an SVG file. So what you want to do is go to file and then save as, save as a copy or save as normal. I don't know, it's up to you. And you want to click on save as type and you have SVG. You might want to make sure that's an SVG type because that is what we need for Blender. So once you have an S SVG type file, you want to save that wherever you want. Okay, once you've done that, you want to go over to Blender. And in Blender, you just want to make a, a general file or like a, a general new file. So click on general and you have your basic cube. You just want to press X and then delete the file. So and also you want to delete the light for now because you don't need that for now. So what you want to do is go to file and then import, import SVG normally. There you go. Uh, what you want to do is just find that file on your PC. I have it on my left screen so I can just drag that and put it in there then you want to zoom in because it's really small uh, zoom, zoom in just by scroll wheel and you have here your file and you can see that there's like a lot of curves that there's one two three curves and you want to have one complete file because if you want to make that a 3d then they, they have to be together so what you want to do is select one part and then hold in shift and select the other one and then just control J so this is one um, uh, big as file one big uh, I think I selected everything but it still says that I have another curve let me just select that as well and then I don't know where it is but ctrl j it again so it's uh, in one group so what you want to do is just select your logo just go to this, uh, material properties and change the base color to white and that is the base color now what you want to do is ctrl uh, c ctrl v so you have a duplicate of your logo no so once you have your copy, you want to select that copy and go back to object properties. And then you want to go to uh, geometry and you want to make sure extrude is around something like 0 0.04. Uh, we can also like scale this up later, but for now it's not necessary. And you can see our other uh, logo is in the middle of that and you want to make sure that's on top. So select that and go to the move tool and move it all the way up to uh, it's like right on top of the other part so you want to select both of them and then maybe press s to scale it way up maybe a bit more like so okay and how i move uh, this like so is hold in shift and hold in your scroll lead button so you can move like so okay now we have that you want to give the back the, like the 3d part a color but i'm not going to give a color to the front part i just want to stay that as a white so what you want to go is to properties again and just give that a basic um, color that you like um, in my preview I did a purple and um, you can do that as well I think I have the bit metallic um, also what you want to do is click on this little camera and click on ambient collision and bloom uh, and that's why I always do because we're going to make sure as well that the top logo is a light and emission so we're going to do that first go to material click on uh, this little plus new material so you have a new material and you want to go to a mission and now you can see that it gives a bit of light but we're going to strengthen that a bit up we to select both of our logos and we're going to the uh, rotate tool and we're going to rotate our logo like so and a bit to like so because i have that as well so you want to have that like something like so and we're going to put our camera here later as well so how i have the different light uh, on top and the left and the right we are going to create that as well so we're going to go shift a and we're going to go to light and we're going to go to uh, i think the area okay and then we're going to this little light and we're going to make sure that the light area is a ellipse so it's round and looks better and we're going to put that below our logo like so we're going to move that a bit down as well Okay, I'm going to make it a bit bigger by pressing S 
Okay, I'm going to make the power bigger as well. And I'm gonna change the color to like a, a pastel blue. Okay, like so. Now what I wanna do is just duplicate that um, by Ctrl C and Ctrl V. I wanna move that upwards, like so. Okay, so the light is up there. I'm going to put it a bit more at the back, like so. I'm gonna change the color to like an orange, but I need to change the other one, so select the other one. Okay, I'm going to change that to an orange. What if we um, turn that around? Because the light is pointing back. Yeah, there we go. That was a problem. Um, I told you guys I'm not as good, but I mean I'm better than the previous time. So we're going to move that bit down as well. And you can see now the light is coming from the bottom. Emission is not really that's not really so um, so good, in my opinion. I'm going to move this. Okay, that's what I had to do. I have to remove the other um material so now you can see that the logo gives light as well that is better now we're getting there so what you want to have want to do is duplicate that again so ctrl c ctrl v uh, the light of course and we're going to put that um, around here i'm going to change the color as well i'm going to do it to a more purple also going to put the do a bit less power because so that is really the basics of this uh, tutorial you can see if you want to have like different colors i'm going to change the color of the um logo you can see if you change the logo how it looks better or how it looks worse i guess so i think that has a nice look to it now you want to what you want to do is i'm going to delete this camera i'm just going to put a new one so we just want to go to shift a again put a new camera i want this and then if you want to see your camera press zero of course but what i also would like to do is just uh, go in the camera press zero and in the right corner you can uh, change the the look as well also what you want to do is uh, go back to go to scene and the resolution is now just on a 1080 on just a 1080 and what i want to do is uh 1920 i want to do a 1920 so it's a so it's a square so i'm going to go back to camera i'm going to move it a bit around i'm going to make the focal length a bit different as well so also what i want to do is make sure that the background is a is transparent so you can put that in photoshop you know, or whatever you want so you want to go to your um, render options you want to go to film and click on transparent as well so here you go and i think that looks already 10 times better also i want to look at it in cycles and i think in cycles it looks always better but i, th I don't think it looks bad that bad in eevee i think eevee has also something uh just what what you prefer i guess uh, what you want to render in as well so i think this is, looks really well so what I want to do is go to render, render image, and normally it, it now it's going to render uh, the logo. So once this is rendered, you can see that it looks pretty nice in my opinion. You want to just go to image and then save, save as, and of course you want to save this as a PNG. So what I will name this is um, logo, and then oh, logo tutorial. There you go. I'm going to save that image in my pictures folder, of course. So there you go, it's saved, you want to close that down, you want to save this um, as well. So I hope you enjoyed this quick 3D logo tutorial, I hope you learned something with this I guess. Um, join the Discord, we are almost at 400 members in the Discord, that's, that's, that's a lot, that's a lot of members. Also we're almost hitting 3k subscribers as well, thanks you guys so much for all the support and the love on my recently videos. Also I'm going to make a new channel as well with a gaming channel, so if you want to subscribe as well there's going to be a link in the description to my gaming channel i don't think i'll have something uploaded by now but if you just want to check that out and just subscribe because in the near future there's going to be some gaming on there but otherwise uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next one peace